Rarely is a pivot table considered finished or complete after it's created. Over time, people realize they need to add a field, change the order of stacked or tiered fields, and maybe remove a field that's not providing useful information. Or maybe you want to change the function that's applied to a numeric field, say from a sum to an average. You may also want to know that when you open your pivot table, you're seeing all of your latest records included, whether you've added, removed, or changed the data within the list to which your pivot table refers. In any case, whatever it is you want to edit, Excel makes it easy. First, to make sure you've got all of your latest data, just go to the Pivot Table Analyze tab once you've got your pivot table open, and click the Refresh button. That goes back to the data range your pivot table refers to and grabs the latest and greatest version of that data. After that, editing your pivot table is just a matter of making sure the pivot table fields panel is showing. It should appear as soon as you click the pivot table itself. If it doesn't appear, click the field list button on the pivot table analyze tab. If you don't see the pivot table analyze tab, make sure you're actually in the pivot table itself. You can't just be on any cell in the worksheet that contains the pivot table. You have to be within the pivot table. See the difference here when I click near and then within the pivot table. Once you're safely inside your pivot table, all of the tools on the pivot table analyze tab are at your disposal. You can use the field list panel to add or remove fields from the pivot table, or choose which sections of the pivot table they appear in. You can also change the order fields appear in hierarchically within the pivot table. You can also change where your pivot table lives using the Move Pivot Table button, which gives you a dialog box from which you can choose a new location in another worksheet or create a new worksheet just for your pivot table. Parts of your pivot table can also be renamed especially useful if your field names are abbreviations or just aren't that clear. For example, I could change category to food type so people know immediately what to expect when they click that drop list in the filter section. The headings, row labels, and sum of total sales, which is just the name of the function you chose for your values box field plus the field name, can also be edited. You can do so directly in the cells that contain them in the pivot table. 